So I picked up a couple of these Wise cams the other day from Home Depot. They're actually pretty cool. They're about 25 bucks or so. I think they even come in black. There's several variations of these things. They work really good. You can put your SD card in there and record basically 24-7. You can set it up for motion. It's basically like a, a, a cheap ring alternative. The only downside I've seen to these cameras is the range, the Wi-Fi range. So when I got my first one, I took it apart and I found that it had a really small, small antenna and it wasn't soldered to the board. So I found some antennas online, some SMA antennas, they were like four bucks or something on eBay. And I modified the inside of the case a little bit and popped one of those bad boys on there and it has greatly greatly increased the range of this camera so I'm gonna go ahead and take this one apart and show you how to do it it's really simple so they got two Phillips screws here in the bottom we'll start by taking these guys out trying not to lose them If I remember correctly, this just pulls off. It's kind of hard to pull off, but snaps right off there. Put these screws to the side so we don't lose them. And now you're exposed to the board. And I think we got a speaker back here. Got your USB and your charger adapter. So let's disconnect this cable here. And... I don't remember. Well, let's see here. All right, it comes apart like that. You gotta apply a little pressure, but it does come apart. All right. So I'm guessing that's your speaker back there. So what we have here as you can see right there, there's the antenna. And that's what we will be replacing with this guy here. So we'll find a place to drill a hole and mount that once we get rid of this antenna here. So we'll just take a flathead screwdriver, pop that guy off. Now I've seen a video where lots of people leave these old antennas in here I think we can peel this guy off of here just save us some space just get rid of it all together so let's open this up and see if this is indeed a speaker because I think if we put this thing on the top we put that antenna coming out the top like I want to we'll have to lose this speaker here so let's see let's give it a little pry and see what we got right. came off pretty easy so what I think we can do is let's put this back together like so Let's see where we want our antenna. I think, I don't know, right in the middle. Or maybe up to the side here. Let's see. I think I figured we need a 1564 bit. Should do us just fine. So we'll pop a hole about a half an inch in from the side here. put that other piece in because I want to mark where it lands on that little mount for the speaker. Oop. Okay, 
that should be perfect all right so we got a hole there now too that's perfect let's see what happens Let me put the speaker back in there I think we should be all right get some of this stuff out of here and you can probably take a razor blade but I got a little hobby saw kind of cut this out here probably be easier if I would have grabbed the Dremel tool but there's not a lot to cut do a kind of angled cut there another one down Peel that off. Some of this dust. All right. So hopefully that's the right size. Yeah, good and snug. Maybe egg it out a little bit, but it's pretty good and snug. little side drilling so let's see what happens here looks like we got pretty good clearance so let's just go ahead and mount this like this good and tight good and tight that on the bottom but that's all right we'll lose that and use the lock washer and some little mini channel locks here sock that down all right now if we can wrap this and you could probably get one with just a little bit smaller of a of a cable Let's get some light over here this is always the trickiest part getting those guys on there all right it's popped on there pretty good looks like the cables routed pretty well looks good to me got a hot glue gun here I'm just gonna put a little dab of, little dab of hot glue on that another little dab of hot glue there and this isn't gonna hurt anything on the board just gonna keep that stuff in place and pop our back back on I think we're uh we've made enough room i believe maybe not that's no big deal we can probably give it a little more room are a little tricky to pop back together I do think we need just a tad bit just a tad bit more room right here so maybe we can just side drill this a little bit probably be a lot easier with a little Dremel tool but I'm not gonna go uh, get the Dremel tool just to do that little bit all right that's a lot better now if I can just get it to pop back together be back in business there we go there we go it's back together 
And of course, I'm gonna have to take it back apart because what did I forget? The speaker. We do it right because we do it twice. That's how it always goes, right? So we'll give this thing a little dab here. A little dab will do you. That a little dab there. Plug this speaker. Oh, the little dab didn't do me. Let's get a bigger dab. All right, now to try to plug this little speaker back in very carefully because they should have brought some oh, there we go again should have brought some needle nose very very tight quarters in here there we go now I got a, a hot glue mess which is okay not gonna put that I'm not gonna put that back plate back on there Just for one I don't know if putting that back on will interfere with anything it's just not not really necessary that speaker should stay in place once that hot glue cools down okay we're back together now once again for the second time we will put our put our base back on and we are done I'll plug it in and see how she works all right that's it there we go extended range wise camera in about 10 minutes or so there you have it